It is Saturday, June 23rd, 1.58 p.m. 18 degrees outside, feels like 24, and it's, um, it's, it's okay. It's, I would say it's like sweater weather outside, so, um, it's a little bit warmer than it was yesterday. It's, uh, really cloudy. It looks like it has been raining. I know it was raining last night, um, and actually all of last evening, I think. Uh, I think it might be raining right now, but, uh, it's definitely a rainy day. Um, <clears throat> yesterday, um, what did I do yesterday? Nothing, really. Um, I played... Um, wow on the live servers got some midsummer stuff done. I need to get the toys and the pets for midsummer Gotta run all the way around Azeroth and all the other places to get some of the blossoms to hand in as currency for the toys and the pets So me and Carla were doing that or Carla and I were doing that um, Played some of the steam games I got on sale, so uh, I guess I'll go over some of those I had about $44 in my uh, steam wallet, and I bought some games uh, really happy that I was able to buy some stuff because it's been a while since I bought any games. So I bought some stuff that I had on my wish list. I added some more um, the other day, and I have been like, there's still some, I guess there's some cards you get from doing your discovery queue every day on Steam. So I've been selling those a bit right now, up to 40 cents. So I may be able to buy another game or two by the time uh, the the sale is over. But I bought eight games total so far. The first one is called Dots, and I beat it in about 43 minutes, and essentially it's just, you gotta connect all the dots without crossing over lines. Relatively easy, I didn't get all three stars in that game, but it was pretty fun. Spectra Ball, which is a game that you play as a ball, and it's kinda like a puzzle game, you kinda try to get to different places as a ball, and it's, it's pretty fun. I played it for about 20 or 30 minutes yesterday, it was pretty interesting, not bad. Sniper Elite 4, I finally got, I was playing that for a couple hours yesterday. I like, what I like about it is that the levels are interesting in that it's, it's like, Level 2, but in level 2 there's like 4 objectives, and there's this giant map, you have to run to these different objectives to do all that, and then escape that map. So, uh, that's cool. The only thing I don't like about the game so far is that it seems as though there's not enough, like, you can mark people like you can in Battlefield, but I can spend 20 minutes marking, and then I'll still miss like 15 people, and it'll blow my cover as soon as I kill anyone. <laughs> and in the second map specifically, or second level specifically, there was like, no noise um, obstructions, so, like, I couldn't... Like, I couldn't sneak up on people, like, I, I had to take a shot, and basically I would blow my cover immediately. So that was that was really annoying. I kind of got a little frustrated, so I, I took a break from that after a couple hours, because I got actually pretty annoyed. Uh, a game called Vanquish, which um, is like a, uh, it's, I think it's like a futuristic type of first-person shooter. Um, it's made by Sega. But yeah, essentially it's like a... Third person shooter, sorry, sci-fi first person shooter. Looked pretty cool, so um, got that on sale. I got a game called Jetman Go, which is, I guess, it kind of reminds me of Ricochet almost, but uh, what it is, it's like, it's just, you fly around and you kill people, and there's like gas with the collect, so you can continue flying. Um, you can shoot out uh, things from the ground, so if people land on those, they'll actually die, or they can't really, they have to like, specifically land on certain parts. Um, I tried to play that yesterday for a little bit, but there was literally no one playing. The all-time peak, I think, for that game is 119 people. So, and there was like one person playing in the last 24 hours, so, um, don't know if I'll be able to play too much of that. I was playing with bots, it's okay. It was nice to kind of practice aiming where someone's going to go, like shooting a rocket to where someone's going to go and hitting them. That was good practice. Um, a game called Devil Daggers, which essentially is just a continuous mob or continuous flow of uh, enemies spawning and you have to stay alive for as long as possible that was pretty cool pretty fun uh, not very good at it so far but uh, i'm getting the hang of it and i like to play that a little bit more a game called the, Ta the talos talos principle it's like a first person sci-fi puzzle game which i've had on my wish list for probably like four years now so finally glad that i got that done um kind of reminds me of cube and portal almost um but i got that i'm excited to play that i got um what was I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and then the last one is uh, Crayon Physics, which is just a game where I guess you. Uh, I saw Soda Pop and played it a long time ago on a stream, and basically it's just a game where you try to connect. You use you you draw basically to connect places together so you can cross it or something like that. I don't know, it looked pretty cool. It was on sale 90% off, so $2, so that was fine. But uh, yeah, that's what I got on the Steam Summer Sale. Uh, happy I got some of that done. Got some new games to play, and lately what I've been doing is anytime I get a free game or I get, in this case, a, a game on sale, um, what I'll do is I'll immediately, immediately install it and then I'll play it eventually. So Because in the past, I've, of course, you know, I'll buy a game that will just sit in my backlog for 10 years. 
but um, I like to play games now that I bought just so I like have just so I know it's just so I can say I played it you know I bought these games might as well get them played and I just have them sit in my backlog so uh, that's good but yeah so I'm at, I'm, I'm at 40 cents now um, I think each trading card that you do from your discovery queue goes for about six cents into my wallet you can get three a day so um, I might be able to get one or two more games if that, hopefully that gun that I sold from CSGO for six bucks sells um, before the sales over because that'd be nice to get another, like a, a little bit more expensive game. But uh, I pretty much got what I, most of what I wanted from my wish list, which was nice. Um, I actually calculated it. I was wondering because Dots and Spec, no, I think Dots is like 59 cents and it was just a game. I had like 64 cents left in my wallet. So like what game can I get for 64 cents? So I, and 59 cents was the lowest price for games. So I, I wanted to see like how, how if I paid sixty cents for a game and I, and I had forty four dollars or whatever I could get seventy three or something games if they were all fifty nine cents so um, that was something that I did so that's um, so probably gonna play some more uh, Sniper Elite four today maybe if Carl and I don't hang out I might play some more WoW get some more like, midsummer stuff done I I kind of feel like playing beta but we'll see about that um, the um, the other thing I'm probably gonna do today is update my playlist. Um, Vinny Paul died, the drummer of Pantera, hell yeah, I think Damage Plan as well, he died today. So I'm going to go edit my playlist, and uh, I think I'm going to go through those three bands and see what I want to add, what I want to delete, and then make a Vinny Paul playlist and have that rocking for a bit, uh, just in honor of him. Uh, kind of sad, um, I don't really believe in an afterlife. It's weird, I don't believe in religion or an afterlife, but part of me does believe that like he is meeting up somewhere with his brother Dimebag, Daryl, um, I don't know, it's weird, like, I don't believe in the afterlife, but at the same time, I kind of do, but I don't believe in, like, God and stuff, so I don't know, I don't know, I think, I think, I think I don't believe in it, but it, a part of me just really, really hopes that it, that there is one, so you can kind of have ever, ever, or forever live, um, so, I don't know, but if there is one, hopefully he's jamming it out with Dimebag, hopefully they're reunited at last, after 14 years, I think, um, I think, um, but yeah, anyway, so, we're gonna, that's pretty much the plan today. Uh, if Carla and I do ha Carla and I do hang out, not sure what we'll do. It's kind of raining, so we might just stay inside, but we'll see. Uh, I finished Corey Taylor's America 51 book yesterday. Overall, um, it was okay, I guess. The last few chapters were better. Um, they're a little bit more entertaining, but overall, like I tried to think of like what is a summary of this book, and essentially, I don't I don't really know. I tr I, tr I, I like I read a chapter, and that was a few pages in the, the second last chapter, and I was like, what did I just read? And I really had no idea. I couldn't really summarize the last chapter or the second or the chapter that I read before that. So I don't really know. It's about America. It's about his qualms with it, um, things that he thinks kind of divide the country, and how he thinks we can kind of band together. He 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 talks a lot about how America isn't just this white country. It's a, like a like a melting pot of different colors, uh, religions, genders, and stuff. So it's it was okay. The last few chapters were better um, than the first half, but. Um, Overall, I still would rank it on the, the last place in terms of his books, but um, yeah, it was it was it was okay. I guess it turned it turned out to, to, from being like oh my god to it was okay. Um, still a lot of words to, to have defined, uh, which I'm kind of glad that I'm done that. So I don't have to keep like reading one sentence at a time and defining words in it. So that's nice. I'm probably gonna read. It's a sm it's a smaller book. It's the greatest moments in Toronto Maple Leafs hockey history. I guess I can get it. Uh, in my room now, but it's it's relatively small. Uh, my brother got it for me for Christmas, so um, I guess I'll go through that, and then afterwards I'll go through the 67 book <gasps> about the 67 cup win. Um, and honestly, I'm so glad I waited. I'm so glad I, I I was lazy and didn't read these books yet because it's the off season. I'm in. I I want as much hockey as I can. So having these books to read now that for a couple weeks, maybe a month or so, while I wait for hockey season to start, is is gonna be really really nice. Um, so that's really cool. Also yesterday, the NHL draft happened. It wasn't on Wednesday. I don't know why I thought it was Wednesday, but it happened yesterday. And Leafs picked 20... I think they traded from a 25th to a 29th. Um, and they got a 76th as well from St. Louis. That was a trade. Um, and uh, they picked a guy called Rasmus Sandin. Um, the joke is Rasmat Sandin. So that's cool. Uh, he's a... I think he's a left-handed defenseman. Plays in Sault Ste. Marie. He's from Sweden. Um, people expect but right now he has like a contract in Sweden, but he might play with the Marlies next season. Um, we're not gonna see him for a couple years at least. So, um, but people were saying he's good. There was another guy, I think Joey Vino, Vino, Joey, someone Vino. I'm pretty sure. Um, Vesso. I don't know. 
Apparently, people were saying that we should have take. People were thinking we were going to take him, and they were surprised we took Sandine. So, um, not sure. Uh, apparently, Sandine's really good too, so people are happy that we took him. But uh, yeah, so that's what's going on today, and uh, I will see you in, in the future probably. See ya.